Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. Try with this one. That one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Not your usual shooting range, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay, let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. You could try and lift Mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. 
Focus. I'll try. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest oh. rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now, superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Finding that house was a miracle, but I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. We need our fresh water. We need our fresh water before we... We need our fresh water before we go back inside. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? Maybe they're dead. But... They're children toys. They can't be dead. Right? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every 10 years. We need our fresh water before we go back inside. I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every 10 years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. I kind of like it here. It's way cooler than that crappy town where the shelter was. I just... I miss my friend. my room. Sometimes. Yeah. Me too. Here we go. The hella tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, 
Oops. Sorry. I said fucking. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. Cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Mm -hmm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But... Look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse. Or something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Mecha robot ready for takeoff. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Feels weird to be living in their home. Space scuba is hovering on a dead planet. What 
sadistic scheme do you have in mind today? HQ, I'm flying over the city. No danger in sight. Copy? Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. Taking pictures of aliens. Oh, yeah. He definitely cared for us. What a piece of shit. Shit, where did I put my lighter? Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. <sighs> Too risky. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. to get warm. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. <gasps> Starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Um, Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Dan. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much. It hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. How you doing, Mushroom? Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. I'm just glad we found you. I wonder how far it can go. Mmm. 
Tough choice. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. We really lucked out stumbling into this house. Daniel's been sick for more than a week. And it keeps getting worse. Nah, it's not ready yet. Ravioli expert now. Maybe I can draw a quick sketch outside while the food is heating. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready. Sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti latias. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. This house is cool, but it doesn't help with Daniel's health. Hmm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Hmm. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this.
this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Where did he put it? <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. After all I've done for you, really, shroom, okay, mushroom, thank you, I get it, you're the boss. Time to play dad, Doc. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the mother Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Man, are you out of your mind? Uh oh, come on. Don't be such a pussy. <sighs> okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents, our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... for what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. 
I need a five. Just give me a five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. Yay. No full ship. No score. The dies are yours. Right? I just need a four now. All right, everyone on deck. I need the score now. Pretty please. Score. Watch out, Sean. <laughs> I'm so scared. Ah, pretty good. My turn now. Be ready to lose. Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean, we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. And I win. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. <sighs> okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. <sighs> Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <sighs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. What are they doing? That's not good.
Daniel? Oh shit. Daniel! Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's pointless. You can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. So long, my dudes.
<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? I remember that. It's good to be inside. Finally. Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Feels so awkward to be here. Do we really want to involve other people? Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... 
hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that... he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but... why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So, what are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives.